all right this is bank nifty and h cost chart and we have seen here bank nifty running the range so here here is the range and uh, we are targeting somewhere here around 21,300 somewhere here we have seen that uh, that is a resistance line so you can say bank nifty is running in a uh, sideway market all right but uh, this is a large time frame that is why the range is too big all right this is almost five five thousand point range we have seen this their range all right so in a small time frame you will see here many time up, uh, up trend or down trend but here in a large time frame like daily and it's a d1 chart you can say this is the range so if you want to trade so you must trade in between this range only so let me show you in the h4 chart and here in middle middle of this range from this area and uh, around 20 sorry 20 interesting me 21300 this is the resistance line and uh, below 16583 so let's see uh, uh 80 all right and in between this range there are middle here you can see one eight six seven zero that is the middle of this range so now here you can see why this is important this line around eighteen thousand six hundred so we have seen press hit and the reverse back act as a support all right finally they broke and price again reverse back toward this resistance line and price again hit and reverse from this area act as a support here and another we have seen they are act as a support so middle of this range so now here you can see price are running in in between this range only right now so that is our uh, that, uh, this is our trading range so what is the trading range right now this is our trading range all right so we have seen our trading range and we know that the market is downtrend and uh, right now in a sideway in this area so here we have seen gradually their wave are becoming smaller and smaller have you seen so first we have seen that was a huge big wave and again big wave gradually they are decreasing that wave that means now our market volatility are decreasing so when they appear again price start running either upside or downside so that is why be ready to uh, toward a big moment uh, now I can see here in a small time frame like 15 minutes it will look like an uptrend means uh, if you want to enter with a buy uh, we must close our position somewhere here because this is the raise stand line so once the bed uh, sorry uh, break this raise stand we will continue toward buy direction so now here i can see uh, most of the people are thinking hey can i buy right now yet uh, my answer is no why so here i can see price just open a gap up but let me stable uh, right so price are too far from moving average here you can see uh, price are too far from moving average so that is why we don't enter in this market right now so in that case we need a bouncing trading strategy all right so what is the bouncing trading strategy so have you seen it price is just somewhere here and at that time price will somewhere like uh, price will uh, in a sideway at that time moving average will be like that so once they start following the moving averages so that is called bouncing trading strategy. so that will be our buy opportunity so another here we have seen there is a supporting line so where is the supporting we need the most uh, recent and most higher touches point or the most recent point so here so why i'm not drawing somewhere here why i'm not doing somewhere here so why i drawn here so i'm connect most highest touches point so here we have seen that is one twice three four five so we have seen 
So we are looking for a retracement at that time. Moving average will be somewhere here. And stochastic will be oversold zone. And once price confirm what upside, then we'll go for buy. That is the trading strategy today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.